1. We will install the so-called LAMP stack. 2. LAMP is acronym for Linux Apache MySQL PHP. 3. Linux will be our server operating system. 4. Apache will be our web server. 5. MySQL is our choice for a database management system so-called DBMS. 6. Last but not least, PHP is the programming language that we will learn. Now we will have to install and prepare a so-called virtual computer on which we are going to install a server version of Ubuntu Linux. To do that, just Google search for a program called VirtualBox. This software will allow us to build our virtual computer. VirtualBox is available for all operating systems. Find the version which will match to your environment and click on the appropriate link Save the file to your local hard drive. Install the downloaded Oracle VM VirtualBox software on your operating system. In my case that operating system will be Ubuntu Linux Desktop Edition. As we can see, Oracle VM VirtualBox is installed. When you start VirtualBox for the first time, the program will prompt you with a question asking you to install Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. Click the download button and it will download and install the extension pack automatically. You will need to accept the license agreement, and to provide your Linux root account password to allow the installation. Now let's click the new button to create our new virtual computer on which we will install the Ubuntu Linux server version. We will specify a name for our brand new virtual machine. Unfortunately I have misspelled the name, but I will edit it later on. We have to specify the type and version of the operating system that we will install, and I will agree with the default values here, because that is just what we need. Now we will have to specify the amount of RAM memory that we will allow the virtual machine to use. This memory will be reserved from the real one that we have on our physical machine. I will agree with the given value of 512 megabytes. It will be more than enough. On this screen we will instruct VirtualBox to create a new virtual hard drive. This hard drive will be nothing else than a file holding the information that the virtual machine is writing and reading. For a hard drive type we will choose a VDI option. Other options are used when we need to use that virtual computer with software other than Oracle VM VirtualBox. We are not going to do that, so we pick the VDI option here, and click Next. Here we are presented with two options, which are, dynamically allocated, a fixed size. When the virtual hard drive is dynamically allocated he will use only the amount of hard drive space which he needs. On the contrary, when it is fixed size, the virtual hard drive will always be the maximum size that we will allow it to be. For example 8 gigabytes. You will be prompt for a location of the virtual hard drive file. 
we will choose the desired folder in which we want to save that virtual hard drive file. Again, the virtual drive is a file saved somewhere on our real hard disk. Is it a total mess in your head already? If so, let us continue ahead. Now we will get that magnificent software pack called Ubuntu Server. We will call it sometimes LAMPSTAC. LAMP is acronym for a Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP. Yes friends, that is what we will going to do. We will install and configure the LAMP stack. When we do that, we will have a fully functional web server, database server and PHP scripting language, running under the most robust operating system known to mankind. Actually that file that we just downloaded is called CD Disk Image, we can burn it with CD Burner. Using the appropriate burning tool and DVD CD Burner device, or we can use it as a virtual CD, which is loaded in the virtual CD DVD drive, who is built in the Oracle VM virtual box. As a more convenient option, we will going to pick the virtual DVD device option. Now we click on a settings button in the upper left section. From that menu we click on the storage section. From that section we can configure properly our built-in virtual CD DVD device. Click on the little compact disk image with a down arrow right to it. There we have three options. The first one is, choose a virtual CD DVD disk file. That should be the image file with Ubuntu Linux on it, that we recently downloaded from the Canonical website. Now we are ready to start our virtual machine. She will boot from the virtual DVD-ROM device, in which we loaded recently downloaded CD image file, containing Ubuntu Linux Server Edition. I will explain to you what you should type and choose during the installation. The virtual machine started. Now we are presented with dialogues, asking us to choose a language for our operating system. There are a lot of languages as you can see. We will choose English here. This is information about so-called mouse capturing in VirtualBox. Mouse capturing is very confusing. Think about a first-time user. Read carefully the information presented from Oracle here. Remember one thing. If your mouse is stuck in the virtual machine window, just press right control key on your keyboard to release the mouse cursor. Now let's begin with the installation process. Using arrow keyboard keys, navigate to the desired options here. When the option that you want to choose is highlighted, confirm your choice with the so-called return keyboard key, or also known as enter keyboard key. This will be the computer host name, type something here. For example, your name. When you type the required text, you must click Tab Keyboard Key. By doing that the Continue button will be highlighted, and you can confirm your choice by pressing Enter Keyboard Key. Here we must enter the name of our user account on that virtual computer. My suggestion here is to go with a text string who does not contain any spaces or special characters. On the next screen we will pick a password for our user account. My suggestion is to use something easy to remember. You must remember that password. I write it down somewhere. If you forget the password, 
that will render your virtual machine impossible for further administration. In fact, using a weak or easy passwords is a bad practice in the real-world production environment. The reason we're using easy-to-guess passwords is that we're going to use our virtual machine for a training purposes and not for a production machine. Next stop, disk partitioning. This one will be easy for us now. We are going to use the entire disk space for that virtual machine installation. We will agree with the default option here, and just confirm with the Enter Keyboard key. OK, now just choose the options which I am choosing, remember. If you want to select different options, a switch between them, use the keyboard tab key. It is placed near to the upper left corner of the keyboard. If you want to confirm your choice, just press the Enter keyboard key. Now jump on those keys, and make them useful. We will not use the mouse now. We hate the pointer devices at this moment. Here we are asked if we are going to need the automatic updates. I like to be the boss of every situation that might occur. I don't like automatic things. We will pick the no automatic updates option, and we are going to install the required updates when we need them, and when we are comfortable to do them. Now, this is a very important screen. We are allowed to choose from a huge list of software packs. We must choose what we are going to need, and mark the required software sections with our space keyboard key. We will choose three things, Open SSH Server, LAMP Server, and Samba Server. Then with the Tab key we will highlight Continue button, and confirm with the Enter keyboard key. Here we must specify a password for the MySQL DBMS root account. My suggestion is to go with the same password that we picked up for the system account, for easier memorization. Finally, we are done now. Now we have a fully functional and robust server computer. In my next videos I will show you how to configure a thing or two. At this point, we are able to connect our real computer and the virtual one in a local networking. We can assume that we have some kind of virtual laboratory where we will learn PHP and MySQL.